Hi guys, it's Ray from Race Turquoise Turtle. Today I am starting on this um, sunflower split cup, sort of split cup. It's not going to be completely neat sections. I'm going to do the vinyl at the bottom, the white at the top, so that the water slide can go over the white. And um, I'm going to use this glitter as the transition from the white to the patterned vinyl. I think that'll look pretty. So um, I'm only going to do about three and a quarter inches of the printed vinyl at the bottom. So, and I have a circle cut, but I cut this circle when I thought I was going to use a 20 ounce skinny but I think it'll still work on this 30 ounce skinny I had to switch gears because I realized that I didn't have enough 20 ounce skinnies so I'm gonna cut it just a little bit longer than my needed length that way I have enough to fold over Andy. So, and I didn't cut my overlap off the back yet. Trying to get the vinyl started. I know, it drives you guys crazy. There we go. So, I'm going to fold this down as flat as possible try and eyeball it somewhat straight and wrap it around all right here goes nothing Let's see how straight I get it I already feel like I'm tilting down so I'm going to test again is some play at this. Not a ton, but a little bit. And if you guys are perfect and get this right the first time, how wonderful for you. I am so happy for you. Because I never do. And I did just stretch my vinyl a little bit there. So, but it's okay and it's actually okay if I end up slightly off because this entire line is going to get covered by that glitter so This little tail off now.
All right, I'm good enough with that on this one because of how the glitter's going on. I'm not worried about it. So, all of this excess is going to get stretched over the bottom. Stretch it in and stick it down. It is not going to lie flat perfect. You are going over a curved surface, but if you stretch it, your edge will be pretty smooth. The smoother you can get your edge, the um, less coats you're going to have to worry about adding on after. So, there's that. I'm going to kind of match up my bottom to see where it's going to fall because <clears throat> I don't need this much excess in the middle. So I'm going to take a blade, preferably a sharp one. This one's not super sharp. And I'm just going to cut some of that excess out. little piece I'm just going to trim with the scissor all right sorry if you didn't see that it's <clears throat> an awkward angle to work at but then I'm going to take my cap here And I get it off the backing and I'm going to get it somewhat lined up and working from the inside out I am just going to get it smooth on there so I am going to get some epoxy mixed up and I will be I'm gonna do one thing real quick before I go mix my resin I'm just going to cut this little piece that I stretched off it doesn't really affect anything but there it just makes it a smoother transition so I'm gonna get some resin mixed up and I will be back to do the glitter part Okay, I am ready to get some resin on this, and I have some mixed up. This is not going to take a lot because it is just an adhesive layer, so I'm going to stretch it pretty thin. You only want a tiny bit when you're doing it as an adhesive layer. I don't know where that little dry bit came from. So, spread it out as thin as humanly possible. So that is full coverage for adhesive. I'm just setting the cup down a second so I can get these gloves off because I don't want them on for this part. All right, so I have 
Sunrise from LMNOP Design Boutique. It's a gold chunky mix. And I have Olaf, which is kind of a holographic white. So I'm going to grab a piece of paper and get my cup back. And I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to kind of waterfall backwards from the top. I want to white because that water slide is clear and I want it to really pop because it is such a perfect match to this vinyl. See how good that matches? It's incredible. The print in the sunflower and the sunglasses was exactly the same and on the headband. So I'm going to shake that off and pour it back in my cup. I'm going to look up again and make sure I don't have any real dry spots. I'm just going to try and get this line somewhat even. So, next I'm going to move on to the gold. I'm going to set that paper aside a minute. Set my white aside. And I'm going to come in with the gold. And I'm going to start by focusing around that white strip. And I may need to come back in with the gold when I do the next layer because I do want it to creep a little bit up. And I may not have enough resin in this layer to creep it where I want. I don't want it to fall too far down though, but I am gonna do a little bit down, so I'm gonna come up high and just sprinkle from pretty high up. Just so a few of those flecks wander. And mostly the um, fine gold is going to stick over the white. But this is very crooked on my um, football at the moment. So... I will come back up and I will, when I put the next coat of resin on, I will sprinkle from high and see if I can get a little bit more to stick up high. So I'm going to let this sit on the drying rack. I'm not going to put it on a turner right now. I'm just going to tilt it up right on the rack and let it dry that way for a couple. Um, I did use liquidy split, so honestly, I can probably come back in in about an hour. And if some of this gold works its way up on its own, I won't need to sprinkle more. But if the gold stays fairly put, then I'll sprinkle more. So I'll be back for that. Okay, I am ready to get a flood coat on this and touch up the glitter if need be. If enough of the gold travels, I'm not going to add more. If it doesn't travel, then I am going to add more, if that makes sense. But what I mostly want on this flood coat is a really good solid coverage on the white so that I can hopefully get to the um, decal step after just one more coat. Because I don't want this getting too awful thick if I can help it. 
So I'm going to start to work that gold up a little bit at this point. And some of it's traveling, but not a ton. And I am moving some of the white to the bottom, and I'm okay with that because more than likely I'm going to put a cheat glitter over this entire tumbler because that's what I do. So I'm actually, so far, okay with how the gold is going. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just kind of depends on how how flat they laid in the first place and how much excess you end up with. And in this case, I think it is going to work to my advantage, but I still may sprinkle on just a tiny bit more. But I'm actually kind of digging how it is spreading, so that's a good thing. Got one stuck to my cup, I'll move that over there. All right, so I do wanna make sure I get the bottom coated. At least a little coat. Again, I'm not as concerned with the bottom as I am with getting coverage on the white, especially on the front side of the white. So, I'm gonna remove this glove now that it is sticky. Grab a fresh glove. I'm just going to grab one of my white nitriles because they are easier to get on after I've had a different pair on. Okay. And I am going to grab that gold glitter and I am just going to take a pinch and sprinkle from pretty high. And another pinch and sprinkle from pretty high. When you sprinkle from higher up, it gives the glitter a chance to like separate from itself on the way down. To give you a nice little spread out layer. So Alright, so I'm just going to kind of watch it come around. My backside was somewhere in here, so this will end up being the front. And that looks really, really good for placement for the decal. So I'm going to let it go at that and let this layer dry. And then I will decide if it needs one more coat or not. And if it does, I will get that coat on and then I will come back when it is time to apply the decal. Okay, I am ready to get the water slide on this one. This is that back seam, so I'm going to turn that so that's on the back. I have my water slide here. Um, I have a video, a couple videos back, where I showed sealing the water slide. I'm going to drop it in my warm water, and it shouldn't take long to loosen up off the warm water. I'm going to, while I wait, get where the decal is going damp. Do not apply a clear decal over a sanded tumbler. You will see all of your sand marks underneath your water slide. A white water slide's not, or yeah, a white water slide's not going to matter, but the clear will show all of the sand marks. So make sure you have a smooth, glossy epoxy surface. And. I am going to get it on there. I'm 
try and get it semi straight. Figure out where you like it. Water slides you do have a little bit of time to play with. Not a ton, but a little bit. So I'm going to take one of these um, silicone brushes and I did get it damp just so it could slide over my water slide and I'm going to use that to push any air or water out from underneath the bottom. So. And that is pretty well locked into place now. So I'm just going to blot the top dry. And I'm gonna let this dry for a bit. And then I will be back in to get the epoxy coat on. Okay, I am ready to get a coat of resin on this one. I am using KS Resin Liquidy Splits, and I am just doing a normal coat. Being that this is a 30 ounce, it'll probably be 15 to 20 mLs total. This is going to need one more coat because of the chunky, but I am not gonna bring you back in for that coat. I will bring you down for a close up at this point. Um, I am going to start doing things a little bit differently, um, and I'll probably make a separate post, but I am going to start offering each cup for sale as it's finished or nearing finished, as is the case with this one, because, um, I'm ending up with a ton of backlog and cups that I haven't quite finished and things like that and that will not only encourage me to actually get them done and cleaned but it might give you guys more of a chance at some of the cups you want i will still run sales here and there but um, i think as i finish i'm going to start pricing them in the description just so i have a better idea of what's going to retail and what's in demand or what I should perhaps do again. So this will be the cup, first cup that's going to be available for, um, I'm gonna say immediate sale, but since this will still need one more coat tomorrow, it won't be ready to go out, to, out the door for a couple days, probably Wednesday or Thursday, so just so you know, you guys know what I'm going to be doing going forward. So I'm going to finish smoothing this out and then I'll let it spin for a little bit and I will be um, back once I work my way down the line to give you a close up of this one. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. I still can't get over how perfect, perfect the match was. Right down to the like navy background. This looks so pretty. I'll show you the whole decal. But that and her sunglasses and her bow reflects that just perfect. And then the gold glitter with the rainbow holographic. I absolutely love it. I'm going to have to turn you a little bit sideways to get the whole cup in again. But that is it.